So, this is the back of the of the checklist uh, of the stuff that's included. And this is actually the unpacking instructions. So, it says, read other side before starting. All right. Download the user manual. I did that. How to call support. Install Megabot Desktop. Did that. All right. Let's get you printing. Yes, please. I'd love to. Remove packaging material Ugh. nice 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 that stuff and uh, remove the clips Before use, remove both orange clips from rod. Rods, it says. Here are the clips. Install Smart Extruder. Oh my god. Oh my god, already. So, I guess. Install the Smart Extruder. Looks like it's going on the back. This thing called the gantry. Yeah, there's a hole for it there. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I should be pushing this. Hmm. Pushed it a little bit. Let's find the smart extruder. Mm -hmm. So, usually in my everyday life, I try to sort of project this image of me knowing what I'm doing. But for this, I completely accept that I have no idea what I'm getting into. The only thing I did is I followed the, the Google group for makeup board operators for about three months, which is the time it took from I ordered this printer till it arrived and I've been learning stuff and doing files and I have a lot of stuff hopefully ready to print and my biggest fear right now is that this little thing is going to clock I'd rather that it didn't do that but anyway let's see if it snaps in place hmm Hmm, this side is down. That's the nozzle. It goes down. Yes. All right. That was easy. It just snapped in there. It gets hot. Be careful. This says push to wake. Very nice. So, lift filament drawer that's this thing here this is very nice this is not bad so the thing is I actually asked on the Google group which color to to go with to start and I actually got recommended to try out the yellow one first. So, I ordered extra stuff. And also I learned that these bags with the filament has some sensitivity to humidity. So it's a good idea not to open them up unless you're about to use them and put them back in the bag when it's not being used. Oh, look at that. That is nice. 
This is actually natural. So this is basically the same thing. And this is the yellow stuff. This should also show up nicely in my little video here. I'm sorry I'm bumping the camera around. This is hard to do one-handed. So, just gonna do this two-handed, I think. Hello? Vacuum seal back has the second inside. Keep it nice and dry. Yes, I left open box cutters on the floor. I am an amateur. At least I know I am. Now look at this. This is a nice little holder mechanism for the filament here. Load the filament spool and it's supposed to go like this, sort of counterclockwise and it should go into this tube. So it's, I'm gonna cut it straight. Just to be on the safe side. And just gonna check that I didn't get this in a tangle. It looks okay. So Here we go. So, I'm gonna grab some gloves since the next step is to install the build plate and apply the blue tape. So, I apologize for the technical quality of this, but I just read somewhere that you shouldn't get your the grease from your fingers onto the build plate. And apparently to put a little bit of grease on the filament is totally okay. Actually, it's sort of recommended that you put a little bit of canola oil, which is great for Dane since uh, we actually grow canola on a big, on a grand scale in this country. Um, that could go on the filament, which would be um, recommended. Uh, but the build plate should be kept free from grease, so I wear the little gloves. And I will attempt to actually get in frame that I'm putting on the blue tape on the This is the nice little build plate. Yeah, has a little bit of dust actually. 
it's actually dusty behind the glass, which is sort of not a testament to excellent cleanliness wherever the thing is built. So let's see if it fits. Oh, this reminds me of a great line from a movie called Scarface. Look it up. See if it fits. Uh, yeah. So I actually printed. This part of the instructions uh, on a laminated card. Remove the build plate and one sheet of blue tape from the accessory tray. I did that. Peel back about an inch of the tape's backing and orient the tape so it covers the entire build plate. Okay, it's not gonna cover the entire build plate, but since I've actually done some work in the United States. I know what an inch is. That's a funny story about how I learned that the hard way. You're not getting that one tonight. Okay, this is hard to peel with gloved hands. Let's just say that. Yeah, it looks easy on the drawing. inch that was a big inch so see, put it like that this sort of fit the other way around alright Hard. So, I never in my life did a 3D print. I never put this large a piece of blue tape on anything, uh -oh. which is why I got some air bubbles. bubbles out of there. Time for close-up. I was a little bit quick on the first attempt. bad. Actually looks quite okay. All right. Press the exposed tape along one edge of the build plate. Continue to pull away the tape's backing and smooth the tape down until the build plate is completely covered. Slide the build plate into the slots on the build platform. 
right. So these laminated cards is something I did for myself. And because I have a beautiful girlfriend who will actually also be operating this printer. Hopefully. Definitely two-handed. All right. <laughs> the cable in here says it says Okay, that's all it says. Okay, that's funny. I think that's funny. All right. Load filament spool, round filament, apply blue tape, plug in and power on. Okay, but uh, I'm just gonna close this. Let's see if I pinch my fingers doing this. It has a warning. Don't pinch your fingers. Okay, I'll try not to. All right. Route the filament, plug in and power on. And then, after that, we're going to get into. Click the dial to start off. I think I'm gonna update the firmware before that. And I actually prepared a little space in here with a little fan up here to extract any fumes and a nice sturdy place and thermometer and a humidity sensor that is actually being locked so I can follow the temperature and I'm just gonna find a way that, that won't hurt my back to put the printer in place so I'll be back in a moment 